Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back in Zerith Mortis to continue Chapter 6 of the campaign, A Means to an End. Ah, uh, now I've gone to the wrong place, haven't I? We're back at Gravid Repose, which is where we started. Now the question is, can we go from here back to where we should have gone? So we should have gone to Secundus Locus. So we have to make sure that we get the right the one card. Right, so we're back where we started. Let's see, can we see? Oh, now we can see it, but we don't have the energy that we need. Hmm. There was a pool up here, but it was quite far away, wasn't it? Hmm. If we just attack a robot, can we get some of the energy from them? Or would it be better to go back down to the ground and fill up at the original pools? Because we need a lot more cosmic energy, don't we? Hmm. Don't know which is the better plan, actually. Let's try one of the little... Oh no, we're going to get the big one. I was just going to say, let's try a little robot, but we got the big one at the same time. Let's just see if we can get any energy off these robots. We should not be standing in the AoE. That was rather silly, Kitty, wasn't it? Do not stand in AoE. It's never a good sign, is it, if you do that? <laughs> right, so the little one's down. No, I don't think we get our cosmic energy off him, so we would have to try and find the pool, which I think was quite far away from the entrance. And I don't really want to attack that great big robot. Can we sneak away? Where are we trapped now? We can go... We can go back down. Let's go back down and fill up our cosmic energy, I think. I think that's the best plan, isn't it? Because it's much easier to get energy down here where there's lots and lots of pools. Yes, thank you for that, but I already know that. We've done that bit. Right. Um, so down the hill, isn't it, for the pools? Yeah, so let's go stock back up on energy because we, we're definitely going to need to go through a few more of those portals. So it seems to be like 30 cosmic energy for each jump. So if we fill back up, that can make our progress further up a lot easier, wouldn't it? As long as we don't die filling up, because it's very easy to get overwhelmed at these pools, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. So let's try and pick them off one at a time so we don't get overwhelmed, and let's try and avoid the big hawking devourer guys because they take a huge chunk of our health if you're not careful especially because you often can't see the AOE inside the pools so now we've got the little orbs that we can pick up for the cosmic energy I probably should have picked those up before I started the second fight so I'm not sure if they stay up permanently or if they disappear or despawn at the time right let's pick them up doing. Nearly got enough energy for one jump, I think, but I think we should probably try and fill it up a bit more. Because I'm not sure how many of these jumps we've got to do through these local to get to the um, vessel that we're looking for. Must be a special robot. The purpose is a little unclear. I'm quite surprised by how hard this seems to be. Some of the mobs up here make it very easy to die. And uh, this character has got decent item level for the zone we're in because we've got all the. We had the 4226 and we've replaced most of it with either 233 or 242 pieces from this zone now. So we're not coming in with low item level and I'm a healer so it should be fairly s easy to fight everything in the zone but it's just still quite difficult for these quest um, mobs sometimes as well so I'm a little bit surprised by that to be honest at this point. It's usually got a lot easier to deal with the mobs in the zone by now. Maybe they've just tuned the later bits of the quest for expecting you to have the higher item levels by now. Of course if you're running with a brand new character later in the um, patch, you 
you might progress to a point where you're, where you're finding it a little hard and struggling to stay alive if you want to complete the campaign on a, an alt. I mean, I know most people probably only do it on their main character. Maybe one alt if they use that for raiding and stuff, but um, some people do like to farm on a lot of alts, so if you progress later on alts, do be careful when you get to some of these later campaign quests because you might struggle a bit with the maps because your item level might be a bit lower than the game is expecting it to be. Right, so how are we doing? We're doing quite well with the bar. If we can get these two mites, we might possibly fill it up and then we'll go back and continue progressing upwards, ascending through the loci. And we should have gone to where? Secundus Locus. So when we go back up, we want to look for where the Secundus Locus is and see if we can go straight there from the ground. Oh, I think we're full. Alright, so if we're not uh, in combat, let's go. Alright, health is good, everything is buffed up. Alright, let's go. So we want to look for Secundus Locus. And I need to make sure we very carefully read the locations. Make sure we're going to the right one. So, Secundus, Primus, Secundus. Right, so Secundus there. So it's kind of coming back on ourselves. It's like doing a spiral in the air, so it's not like progressing further forward. So that's what confused me a little bit, I think. Right, so where... So there's another pool up here, look. So they were expecting you to have to top up your energy as you progress higher, but there's one of those huge devourers. And if we've got all of those mobs all at once, that would probably overwhelm us. Ah, somebody else is going to take them on, so uh, we can take off the one on its own. Stop them get on there, they've got that huge hulking gene as well. Oh no, they're okay. The cat is okay. Check out this little guy. Yeah, the cat was fine, but... Yeah, so some classes are probably handling it better than others. But we've already charged up, so we don't need to use that particular puddle. Right, so now we want Tertius. Tertius Locus. So that would be... Oh, over here, look. Yeah, so the, the pattern is not as straightforward like it goes further forward as you go, so just make sure you're going to the correct one, otherwise you waste your 30 energy if you go to the wrong one. And should we pick these guys up? We might have got away with that one, but then if we decided to patrol while we were doing something else, that could have been inconvenient. So we'll pick a few off that maybe we don't need to, just to be a bit more safe. <sighs> that AOE thing is annoying. Right, let's try the big devourer thing. Let's see how hard it was, because we did struggle before, but I suspect it was because they did one of those AOE... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, see, they do do a lot of damage. I wondered if it was to do with the, them doing some sort of AOE pulls, but they are actually hitting me very hard. The hits go straight through my shield, so... Feels like the tuning on those Devara things is maybe a little bit weird. I would kind of like to get a little bit more cosmic energy, but this uh, big Devara is a little bit concerning. Right, we're going to have to fight the Devara now. Because our um, Shadow Mold is off. On cooldown, so. Right, so we've picked up what cosmic energy we have here. Let's concentrate on what we're doing. And stay out of the AoE, you see. Yeah, so you've got to be careful with the AoE because you don't always see it in the pool. Right, grab the thing. 
Right, some more ropes. Can I grab them without getting into another fight? Right, let's go back this way. Let's get our health back up a little bit. Right, so we want quarters. Quarters. Where's quarters? There's quarters. So it's kind of backtracked again, so you do have to be careful you read them right. Quarters. We've got enough energy to go up another one. Let's pick up the room. Do we need a little bit more energy? I, I wonder if we're going to need... See, if we only need to go one more, we've got enough. But if we need to go further than that, we might need to recharge again. Right, so where is the... Quintus. Quintus. Okay, send to Quintus. There's the room not too far away. This doesn't look like our final destination. We are going to need more cosmic energy. We don't have one of them big devourers here at the moment. Let's pick the room up first in case something goes wrong. Oh, ultimate. That sounds like we're going to go to the last one now. So if we fight, let's pick the birdie off first. That wasn't too much. I think one of the mites has converted before we got rid of it. Oh no, we've got an giant robots. Why did he have to patrol right that particular moment? That makes things a little complicated. Well, we are in real trouble now. Let's get our health back up a bit. Oh no, now it's one of those big guys. We devour things on top of the room. But right, let's get rid of the bird. Oh, yeah, we are seriously in trouble. And we can't use the... Uh, portal thing while we are in combat right the shadow meld <gasps> too close oh no we're stuck in the aoe <laughs> oh no we're stuck in the road uh, in the uh, robot scenes <laughs> no that's cheating you're not gonna let me go through here are they while we're in combat no i am so dead but, um, right let's um Try to stay alive. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. That was a mistake, wasn't it? I should have gone off into the corner where I only had one thing attacking me and tried to get my health back and see if I could uh, take one down. Right, I'm so dead. <laughs> that was the way to not play it. I'm telling you, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, what happened there? Oh, that was really weird. It put me down in ground repose and then decided to, I got that auto um, regenerate thing, that cheat death of, on one of my pieces of gear, haven't I? So it put me back where we were. Oh, that's quite interesting. Right, can I get to where I want to go? Right, ultimate locus. Now let's get our health back before we do anything else and let's try not to do anything else silly. See our gear saved us there. Alright, Falcopose, stop rolling away, I want to talk to you. The last leg of the journey begins. Yay! Searching high and low. Three locks upon the door. Three keys hidden atop the zenith. Find the phrases. Speak the words. Secure the vessel. Gather the ingress phrases on the Ultimus Locus that are needed to claim the vessel. So we're looking for three keys to open the door. I'm assuming they're on this particular platform. Oh, there are three markers. So that, that suggests they're not hidden terribly well. <laughs> they're all in the same location. If you want to really hide something, shouldn't you put them in three different locations? Shouldn't they have been like one on a different each of the different platforms or something? Oh, that's not hidden at all. It's just lying around on the ground. That's not hidden. It's just lying around on the ground. Anybody could have picked that up. That's a bit silly. I have a key. I want to hide it. Let me just drop it on the sand right next to the door that it unlocks. <laughs> no, you don't do that. That's not good. Oh dear, that's bad, guys. That is really, really bad. 
they're just lying around. A bird could have picked them up and run off with them. We had a quest um, earlier on where a bird had run off with something we needed to open that transporter. So, okay, let's put let's put the keys on the door. Okay, please to open my door, and let's hope there's a robot in here. Hey, the robot was here. Somebody hasn't stolen it. Yay! An empty vessel, an absent mold. Both must be filled once more. So we've got a blank robot. Okay. Where's its program? What role does it fulfill? One journey ends, another begins. You light up my life. Oh gosh. <laughs> Song references now. Great power entices great hunger. The insatiable devourers scale the cliffs in search of sustenance. Well, they've been kind of blighting us the whole way up, haven't they? Soon they will swarm the plateau. They seek to consume all they encounter. The vessel, its power, us. See, they would have eaten the keys. This must not come to pass. Wield this automa silence their slavering howls best objective use poker pock to defend the vessel against the devourers oh what we got to fight again with poker pock well we've been fighting with poker pock all this time haven't we has he got some secret utility that you didn't tell me about that would have been helpful while we were fighting them devourers earlier when they decided to squish me Uh, what do you want me to do? Oh, wait, we're using him as a gun turret? Hey, there's only one... P oh, right, okay, so there are multiple spots... Oh, we could pick him up from any of the spots. Okay. Oh, that was in case there were lots of people, was it? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, right. So what we got? We've got a couple of shoots, an AoE, and a shield. Right, so shield. So that shoots. Kind of in front of us, sort of. Right, so there's a little AoE that knocks things back as well as well. Shoot straight in front of you. Alright, so number one shoots further, number two shoots closer, number three pushes back and number four is a shoot. I presume they expect us to use number one to shoot the things out of the air. And number two on the ground things, but number two doesn't always always insta kill things on the ground, so you have to use one as a four for those as well. If we get overwhelmed, you need to use three and uh, shield as the last effects. Okay. Okay, don't look it's um a little odd holding my little robot in front of me and using him as a gun to it. It's kind of a little odd. I mean, I get who wanted to use him in the storylines, but it just feels a little odd. Keys left in the open and using proper poke by just hold, like holding him up in front of your face like a camera and, and shooting him like a gun. It's... Hmm, just feels a bit weird to me. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a bit of a weird quest or did you enjoy it? I just feel that this is a little bit odd. Okay, what's coming now? An even bigger double robot. Okay. Whoa! What happened to Pokey? Why did he charge him? That's crazy. Why would he charge it here? We were doing quite well shooting. Yeah, this just feels a little weird. Now, what do you want me to do? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't get what you want me to do now. Deliver orbs to poke a to power its escape. Well, I don't know why you charged the bad guy in the first place. Was the bad guy supposed to, like, pull him in? To stop me using him or something? Like, what am I doing? Oh, I'm picking orb up like a... Wait, I pick it up like a netball or a basketball or something. I can't pick up more than one. Okay, I can't pick up more than one. Oh, right, so we pick one up and we... Oh, they're power orbs and we just grab them and take them to Pokepot. Okay, right, okay, let's grab them. So this... 
But that robot could be killing us and he isn't. He's just like doing random things on the ground and dropping orbs for us. I'm sorry, but this whole quest feels really weird. From the moment we got to this top level, this whole quest has felt very, very strange to me. And I don't get why we're doing what we're doing and why it's playing out like this. I just find it very, very off-putting. Weird. Disconnected. Yeah, in the comments let me know what you thought about this quest or if you've played it yourself or if you've just watched it and how you feel about it. It just seems rather odd. If that's someone had an idea, oh I'd like to try doing something like this but they couldn't figure out where to put it in the quest so they just randomly shoved it in here to like, make the quest section a little bit longer and it didn't really fit story it seems a bit pointless Odd. yeah most of the um, campaign thing I've, I've found okay I mean there are, there are things about the story I don't like I mean Sylvanas as you know is one of my favorite characters so I really haven't liked the way they've treated during the last couple of expansions I just think that's all weird and I don't really like the way they've treated Anduin and finished it all really fast and this quest seems weird too between wings of hope we've sure okay so they're trying to make it like we've now got hope but that whole end bit of the quest seemed a little odd to me i think we should have just saved the robot and left it there sanctuary for now a greater task remains oh this might be the end of this then is it oracle heal thyself the vessel snatched from peril this autumn a steadfast servant, its energy, the key to my restoration. Hmm, okay. Pockapock, it calls itself. A name that shall return to it. Okay, so the Oracle's going to stop using Pockapock to talk to us. Does that mean that means we get the Oracle back actually? Because we've got the new robot. Oh, is the, is the Oracle going to use the new robot to get itself up again? My name will be mine again. Caesarea, among the last of the Oracles, guide to those who would save Zerith Mortis. Bring Pockapock. Its time as proxy has ended. The time of my awakening has arrived. Bring Pockapock to Caesarea. Transfer your energy into the Oracle Pocket Pocket. Water from the sands. Renewal from oh, so we're not transferring her into the blank robot. I kind of thought we'd be transferring I her into the blank robot. And it would become her new body. Restored. But we haven't. We've restored her the and we've got the blank robot. So what's the blank robot for? You who have watched over me. You who have aided me. More is needed. So what's the blank robot for? We will do everything we can to help. You have my word. Okay, so what do we need the blank robot for then, Cesaro? Oracle heal thyself. Dormant no longer, the pattern aligns, but more must be done. Okay, but what? The arbiter, the judge. Oh, okay. So the blank judge. the judge. Do you mean the arbiter? But how? All that is eternal was forged in Zareth Mortis. Archon, Primus, Winter Queen, Sire, and Arbiter. Uh, they're all robots. <laughs>
Well, the Arbiter do kind of look a bit like a robot, but the Sire and the Queen and all of them don't look like robots. Hmm. Okay, so is that... It's not quite finished chapter six then. Right, Pelagos, what, um... What do you have, have you to tell me? Interesting lately? Arbiter in the making. More Walker. I do not know what to say. I did not expect this. No, neither did I, mate. I thought we were getting the blank robot to put the oracle into. She speaks of preparations and a new arbiter. I must tell our friend. We must tell our friends in Haven. Go to Haven and deliver the news that Suzera seeks a new arbiter. Actually, a lot of people are going to be happy about that because without the arbiter, they can't keep transferring souls to the proper resting places. So there this will be a good news for them, I think. Right, so we need to go back to Haven and tell Bolvar what, that we've got the Oracle back and she thinks she could sort out a new Arbiter, so... Interesting... Chapter 7, I suppose, means let's go try and find an Arbiter. Let's get Pocopo back, he's not following me. Take our trusty robot with us. He's done a lot of hard work today, he has our little robot. I can't rename the little robot and I have lots of like different um, colour customizations and things. I mean there are a few out there but it'd be nice to like make him bright red or blue or something to match match your outfit whatever colour you want or gold or silver or something like, yeah. But then I suppose it's only for the zone so Probably wasn't worth her effort. Right, tell Bolvar about Suzera and her plans to forge a new arbiter. That should please a lot of people, that should, that plan. I will aid you as best I can. Arbiter in the making. An arbiter? I had not imagined we could set that to rights. No, it wasn't what I was planning either. I thought we were getting the new blank robot to get the oracle if into it. Right, so that is a means to an end chapter 6 completed. And that means we can now fly in Zerith Mortis, so that's really good news. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy games!